This is part two where I'm continuing work on the submarine. I have the two halves of the hull together as we saw in last part one and I've now glued it all together. There's a bit of a seam that I have to sand down as you can see right here um, and on top and get this to focus on it right there there's a bit of a seam and in the very front the bow I mean a little bit of sanding needed there too but it's not serious there aren't any gaps it's just kind of like the you know the place where I put the glue and it kind of makes a mark so I'm just gonna basically give everything a light sanding on the whole bottom seam here get that done and then when I get, get the uh, seam all sanded, I'll start taping off the hull to get it ready for painting. One thing I did, since I got this all glued up, is I checked the fit of the top deck here. I took the top deck off the sprue and laid it in there see how the fit was and the fit is just nice it's really good no worries there no fitting issues at all so the deck is going to get painted separately from the hull As I said, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding on the bottom of this thing and uh, smooth it out and get it ready for painting. I've put sprue goo all along this bottom seam. This will help with uh, sanding it into a state of almost invisibility not quite but it'll help seal up the seam and um, there's no gap whatsoever just a seam showing a couple of spots here and there where it was sort of unevenly joined together not real bad but just enough to warrant using something like this to help smooth out the seam. Putty is not required in something like this. I don't anticipate using putty on this model at all the way it looks. It looks like everything fits pretty darn well. So, once this sprue goo dries all up, I'll start sanding it. Make it all nice and smooth. Then we'll get it ready for painting. I've started the painting on the hull, as you can see here. And um, I'm going to let that paint totally dry, totally cure. I got the main deck painted also. And while that's drying and curing for a few hours, <clears throat> I decided to jump ahead a little bit and build the conning tower to start on it anyway now the conning tower is made up of according to this step made up of four parts and there's a couple of decks that go on it um, so in this particular step I'm gonna just uh, do these four parts <clears throat> here is what I've done with the uh, stand I'm using a marking pen and I've got two different variations of gold here. This first variation is the Sharpie Gold and it is a kind of a, I don't know, a dark gold. And then I have another pen here that is, um, I'm not sure what this is alt or 
Al <laughs> can't talk. Art Alternatives permanent marker, and this one's gold. And that looks like this, more of a yellow gold. So I'm doing one side with the darker gold and the other side with the yellow gold. And then I may do a little bit of um, weathering on these. So anyway, that's where I'm at on the stand now. I like the way this gold looks, and I like the way this gold looks. So I think I'll just do one side one way, one the other. Here we are on page five, step two, and it is building up the exhaust pipe system and uh, some other hatchway systems, I think these are, I'm not sure, and all attached to the deck. I have the deck, <clears throat> excuse me, the deck is all painted now. I gave it a clear coat so it looks a little blotchy kind of right now until it totally sets up. So um, I'm going to figure out what color I'm supposed to paint these things. I think they're going to be painted the same color as the deck in the hall. <clears throat> the dark gray I'm using. And um, yeah this exhaust pipe system connects onto this part here and it in turn as the illustration shows goes into the deck and you're able to raise and lower this thing so I will paint the stuff up and glue it up and uh, we'll see how it looks and uh, then we'll just continue on. I have the, um, I did jump ahead the other day and I have the conning tower started. There's another deck that goes up on top here with the rails. <clears throat> And so uh, I'll be working on that also. That's going to fit right on the on the deck, something like that. So yeah, let's uh, let's keep going. Okay, step two or page five of the instructions is done. I merely have to let some paint dry on that, and after that, once the paint's dry, I am going to install the deck onto the hull of the boat. As you can see right there, it's sitting there in its cute little stand, ready to accept the deck. This has all been painted up in the dark gray that I have, and the sky gray XF-19. <clears throat> Uh, step three, not only do you put the deck onto the hull, but you add these little pieces right here at the front. So right now I am on page nine, and I put the very stern of the ship together where the rear torpedo uh, hatches are. Got that done. Now I'm working on the propeller shafts and I'm getting ready to glue those into place. All right, we are at the point now where um, the conning tower is installed with the conning tower deck on top of it. The railing is going to go up there eventually. Um, I have the props put on, I mean the propeller shafts put on, excuse me, um, yeah, and so, uh, next in the book, let's see what's next, the next step shows, looks like these 
diving planes that go on the towards the bow of the ship are gonna go on now plus some other little components there I'm not sure what they are then this uh, machine gun that goes in the front is gonna get mounted and it gets mounted right there yeah looks like it goes right there and then the next page we start we add the rudder some more diving planes or stabilizer planes um, more components on the back side looks like a flagstaff and some more hat and another hatch goes on oh the, that main hatch goes on right there okay so when I come back I will have all the parts for this machine gun and some of this other stuff that's here on this page and we'll start to start gluing that stuff on all right okay at this point I have these parts attached that I've painted red I gotta touch that one up because it got scratched um, I also have the machine gun on the deck some other little doodads here and I started putting on these uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't know if they're diving planes or diving rudders or steering rudders for when they're underwater but anyway I started putting those on and as I was putting them on they they have a little stem on them at, that you stick into a hole right here and then uh, you know I got the put some glue on the stem to give it a little lubrication and shoved them into that hole and the top one went in just fine and as I was putting this bottom one in it just snapped off and uh, I wasn't able to retrieve the stem so it, I had to drill it out and do a little sanding and make it so I could just glue it on there which I did and um, it's sagging I have to fix the sag so it is parallel with the other one anyway that's where I'm at now I'm gonna fix that sag and proceed over to the other side of the ship at this stage of the build, I'm on page 13, and I have put uh, what I'm calling periscopes on, the conning tower hatch cover in the open position. Um, there's the wheel right here for steering. There's a couple of other periscope looking things. This little thing on the very front there is, uh, I believe, a whistle or a horn. Not sure what this is in the back. This is the main mast. I am going to next put the propellers on them. Because they are all now paint it up. Just have to remove them from the sprue and stick them on. So let's do that now. The rear rudders and flagpole. Um, there's a rear hatch I put on. And the front I put in the front rudders, diving planes, the machine gun, here it sits, okay so I put more glue on this one and straightened it up so it is now parallel with the top one, but I had to put this sub so clear over on its side keep that thing upright and just let it glue let the glue harden up and 
I cannot touch this sub for I'm just gonna let it glue up for about a half an hour and we'll see how strong it is all right I have the uh, top railing on, on the conning tower and then right sitting off to the side I have the uh, top railing with canvas on it and so uh, I'm at the point where I'm going to give this model a couple coats of clear spray now to be ready for decals and the last thing to do is going to be putting the flag staff back on I have these little I hear these little life preserver things they are supposed to go on the sides of the uh, canvas railing. I'm not sure if I'm going to put those on or not, but we'll see. So here is the finished model at 31 inches long. Makes a nice display. There aren't too many decals with it, but I did put on the ones that came with it. This is the U9 Unterse boot. Comes with uh, two different parts you can put on top of the conning tower. You have the exposed railing, and then you also have the canvas covered railing. There is a decal flag that comes with it but I am not putting that on so there you have it that's my model build of this U-boat. There's been plenty of people on YouTube that have built this and have done a much better job at it than me as far as the weathering goes. Um, I've done very light weathering on this. But that's as much as I want to do. So anyway, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this build video and uh, um, consider get, getting this model and building it yourself. It, everything fit together really well. It was actually a very easy build. The only thing that was hard about this model is painting. Uh, you have to do a lot of masking <clears throat> to do the painting job in this hull especially. The deck I painted separately, so I didn't have to mask it off, but the rest of this hull has to be masked off a couple of times to get the different colors on them. I probably didn't do it totally accurately, but there it is. Alright, well, anyway, everybody have a good day.